following is a Learfield presentation of the Washington State Sports Network. He buries it. The Cougs have taken the lead. And this place is going to pop up. This is the Cougar Basketball Hour. I think there's just an expectation level in the program. We're good about our talent. Really like our guys. That's what slices right. Hammer time. Right down the center of the pipe. I'm pride in being a Cougar. Right side Mullins wants the three. Connects. Jay Mullins. Roll ahead to Jones. Catches. Rises. Hammer time. Right handed flush and a flex. This is the Cougar Basketball Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Tonight's show is brought to you by U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank. Member FDIC. Tonight's show is also brought to you by Zeppos, where the Palouse comes to play and eat. Here's the voice of the Cougs, Matt Chazanow. It is that time of the week. We're talking ball here with Coach Smith, and what a week to be talking ball with Coach Smith. Congratulations. Thank you. What a heck of a win that was in Seattle. That was one of the best basketball games I've ever seen, just in terms of entertainment in the context of what everything means, conference realignment, in-state rivalry. You're trying to do special things here this year, yeah. the national discussion. You're 16-6. and six. You're 7-4 and four in the pack. You're nipping on the heels of first place, and you went and did something – that hadn't been done in a very long time, and that is when you're fourth and five tries in Seattle at UW, and you did it in overtime. Congratulations. Thank what, you. What a, Thank what a you. ball game. No, it was a fun. I, I now know what fans really enjoy because my wife said the same thing. I was just a great game. I was like, there was not much defense played. Here, so, so. There was a lot <laughs> it was of good. Score. There was some good offense, though. Oh, is that, no, no, no. Spectacular. Great offense. Yeah. No, no, no. Both, they're hard to guard, and, and we were hard to guard. <laughs> so it was uh, – um, it, it felt, mo- if I may, yeah. tell me if this is accurate. It felt more like high quality execution and talent than than hard, a, yeah, definitely hard shot D. making. No, yeah. no, it was hard. There was some hard shot making, um, and I said like Brooks was amazing. Uh, Wheeler's just a handful. You know, there's no one. I've seen enough film on him where just no one keeps him in front. Uh, so you know, they're they're really they're old and they're good players and. And then Isaac and Miles have been, been really good. And Oscar carried us a little stretch there. And, and then Jalen hit some big shots. So, so it was. It was that kind of February late league game where it's a defense. I always, you know, the defense, it's harder to guard this time of year. Guys are a little more tired, a little fatigued. And then the, the comfort of playing together, I think the offense usually takes off this time of year. You also did it on the road, which oh, is yeah. really hard to do. Road games are so hard to win. You're now That was a true road win. You're 3-3 three and three in true road games this year. That's fantastic. You're 11-1 and one at home, yeah. which is what really good teams do. Yeah. And you're 500 on the road, which is really hard to do. That t- can't be expressed enough. I mean, it's extremely no, hard no, to win and road I games. I think it's really hard this year. I, this, someone asked, I think uh, Vinick asked me that. He said, hey, what do you think it's so hard to win on the road? And I said, I wasn't aware. I kind of was aware. It always is. It always feels that hard. But there's been a couple – I think it was last year in league it was like – You way, guys were really good on the road. It was like, was it two years ago? The, the whole Mike league, was, yeah. there was a lot of, lot yeah. of, lot of road wins. I and, forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a weird deal. But uh, And I actually think that in the NBA it's caught up too, but I also think it's quality of the – it's not so much necessarily the quality of officiating. The accountability of officiating is a lot higher, I think. Hmm. The way they're graded, TV – Everything, how they how they move up. I think there's a little more. So it feels more even on the road. Is that? I just think uh, there was always. It was a good old boy network. A little bit on the officiating at home. They could, you know, a guy that has clout could, you know, kind of play to the crowd and that stuff. I don't think they do as. I don't know. That that'd be my. That's my theory. I'm running with it. Oh, in the NBA, they maybe stopped fixing the games. <laughs> oh jeez, <laughs> they did. They did have a legitimate guy that was. Well, there's that, right? Yeah, they what? legitimately had a guy that was right. Correct. Whatever was yeah. betting on the games, was yeah. officiating. Bra- At least Bra- they claim it was a one. It was a one guy thing. Only one guy was doing that. So he's the only guy who had a neighbor who blew, blew, yeah. blew the whistle out. He <laughs> yeah. used to brag his neighbor pulling the trash out, as as the story goes. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, that is crazy. And and I'm I'm, gl- I'm glad yeah. they stopped. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But but no. look, you, you got five double figure scores first time all year. You had one game last week. So there's this is yeah. the only game we'll recap. You had five double figure scores. Isaac Jones played 43 minutes. Yeah. I, I love OT games when guys are north of 40. Jones played 43. Yaki played 42. Rice 30. And some of this is par for the course. At this time of year, yep. you, you get a contraction of rotation. Yeah, when, and when you have, I know it's tough because we got when you have really high end players, it's you don't want to take them out a little bit. And I feel like Isaac and Miles have actually been that, and we need to. Here's a, I got a funny story for you. So I'll, 
I'll often go Kamani first sub for Isaac. And, like, Coach Shaw will be like, what are we doing? <laughs> I said, if I don't take him out now, I may never he, take him out he, at all. That's kind of what happened. He played 42. I was like, I was like, I got to get him rested. I got it in miles, too. So it's like, uh, and Kamani kind of subs for both of them in a unique way. So, um, and Kamani really played well for us. His 19 minutes. He was close to the triple nickel. Triple five, four, five boards, four assists, four points. It was close. He was, uh, he was, he almost got the triple nickel. That's I told him that. So triple nickels, not nothing wrong that's with not those. A thing. I've never heard. Of... I made it up. It's, it's a thing. If it he is, went five, five, and now. five, it's a triple nickel. So he, uh, he, uh, that's great. You know, he's no, no turnovers. And he just, I said, you were one free throw away from. You know, <laughs> we would really celebrate that game. Those two free throws. It, I mean, in 19 just, minutes, is really, no, really he played good. good. He yeah. played, no, and his defense was good. And at the end of the game, he. was – He's a guy that uh, really did a good job on Wheeler in the last possession, um, and uh, we didn't give up a three. It, we should have never gone to that possession in overtime. I just wanted to, Isaac Jones got crushed on the – you remember that play? Oh, you're talking about the very last play? The, the very, very last. Not the very the, – our last possession in overtime. We're up three. Yep. Isaac gets the ball. He misses, gets offensive rebound. Yeah. And then they get shot clock violation. Yes. Isaac got crushed. Did he, on, he get oh, blasted? Was so, so bad. I was like uh. – but we had to, all right, we're up three. We've got to get a stop. And that, and we put uh, Kamani in there for Oscar, and we switched everything, and he did a good job. And, you know, Wheeler's hard. He's trying to find someone for his three, and, and we contested a good three and got the jump ball. Then I thought we maybe fouled him on that last one. That would have just – I might have just – So I, I heard, heard, you, I heard your call. Well, listen. I heard your call. Listen, listen. Here's where that – Chaz's like, foul. No, no. He fouled no, him. No, 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 yeah. no. No, like, oh, no. No, Husky. No, no let's go. <laughs> No, I heard they blew a whistle. They did blow a whistle, and they and and they did. yeah, game over. And then that's what, well, but then it wasn't. And I was like, what? What was this? And it was a jump ball. But I didn't. Oh no, I'm talking this. The last one you were ta- calling foul. No. Yes, you were. No, go I listen was to not. your call. No, 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 no. Go listen. I listened no, to it. I wasn't. You were like, oh, oh no. it might, might have been a foul. No, I wasn't promoting you were, yeah, it. You no, were. Might no, have been a foul. no, I did not promote it as a foul. The, I was, the official put his arm in there. Blew I will whistle say that. as game over is what they blew a whistle. Yeah. Hand because they are. If it's a three, so he's calling a three. But it's like when the hand went up. That's like, what I. It's so exactly. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yes. So you admit to it. No, no. You admit I, to I it. Said, you're rooting for no, him to I, call the foul. No, I do not. Admit. I listen to it. I don't listen to it. No, I know. Wow. What I, I know what I said. What suit? I'm, I'm explaining the context yeah. of uh, what I said. Brutal. This is brutal. This is, this is unbelievable brutal. right now. You know, most most people have a radio guy that's a homer. No, stop. Most of them have a homer. Oh, please. The, what's the opposite yeah. of a homer? Yeah. I, well, you're Couldn't tell you. That I, don't ch- I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's a chance. I don't know what to tell you. It's a chance. He's rooting uh, for the other team. We got a mute button on the coach's show. This is uh, this is unbelievable. Yeah, so um, I just I, I'm glad you triggered me. Yeah. Well, I started thinking about that. I was like, man, we got a guy that's rooting for the other team. Yeah, what are you talking about? This is this is, this is unbelievable right now. You need to go listen. Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. Do your homework. You know what? Let's should we take a break and reset? Yeah. Let's, let's do it. Well, we'll take, I need to calm down. Yeah. We both do. We both do. We've been yeah very very inflamed here at Zeppo's live talking ball. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We come back here live next with Coach Smith. Coach Robles very upset right now on the, on he, the back. What's very, he very, I don't know. Did he probably listened to the same we'll thing. A, we'll take a break. We'll take he a probably listened to the same thing. <laughs> take a break. Hit it, Luke. Luke. Hit the break. Spokane International Airport is a proud sponsor of Washington State University Athletics. The airport connects Cougar fans and alums with over 50 daily departures to 18 nonstop destinations provided by six major airlines, as well as one-stop connections to most major metropolitan centers throughout the U.S. Real-time arrival and flight departure information is available at spokaneairports.net spokane international airport when it's time to fly the passion the tradition the rivalries sirius xm is your destination for all things college sports and we've got you covered on pac-12 radio there is complete coverage of every school in the conference including live games plus 24 7 talk and analysis so cheer along on the sirius xm app and listen to your favorite team anywhere and now you can get three months of sirius xm free subscribe now see offer details at siriusxm.com slash pac-12 sports this is the washington state sports network from learfield FUBO is the official streaming platform of Washington State Athletics. With FUBO, you can watch every Pac-12 game, plus more college and pro sports, shows, movies, and news on over 350 live TV channels. Stream it live on your TV, phone, and other devices. No cable required. The best part? You can try FUBO free. 
There's no contract or commitment. To start watching, just go to FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. This is the U.S. Bank Cougar Coaches Show. Drives in and hammers a baseline rocket. Live from Zeppos with Cougar head coach Kyle Smith, here's the voice of the Cougs, Matt Chesinow. Uh, back at it live here. We're talking ball with Coach Smith as we get set for the Cougs to go to the state of Oregon and to take on the, the Beavers on Thursday and then the Ducks on Saturday. There was some controversy there in the break. I think we uh, – do you feel wait, satisfied? Wait, wait, do we get, can we play that? Or? Yeah, Luke can fire just, it up. Let's let's by the co- Holland, left side. Brooks has a look for it, and he missed it, but he got fouled. No. No. They say no foul. Cougars win. 90 to 87. Huh. Yeah. No foul. Of the no foul. foul. No foul. You call foul. Well, the ref six. put his hand up. Foul. You, you were rooting for that. I was not rooting for it. I was absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank it. you. Yeah, All right. Exactly. There we go. Great game. You're usually pretty good. I'll it was give a great, you that. I appreciate usually that. pretty accurate. <laughs> I appreciate but it just, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. You got caught up in the moment. It was a Confused where you were. Who pays for your checks? You signed your checks. You got confused. Oh, goodness. It was the Cougs with a 90 to 87 overtime win over yeah. the Huskies. Instant classic. Instant. That was a great game. 24 lead changes. It, and it, I, I go to Jimmy Crawford. I, ask, I I took my headset off. And sometimes I'll ask for a stat. Yeah. I know he's got it. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's, he's got a, like a database. Yeah, yeah. Jim's our SID, and he's awesome. Yeah. And he does a great job. And he's right next to us. So it's this great database. So yeah, I can, yeah. And I go and I put the headset off. I said, hey, I, I almost feel bad asking because now you kind of have pressure. Do you have a record for lead changes? Oh, wow. Like, is that even a thing that's kept? Because 24 is got to be up there. Oh, man. I mean, if you think about how many possessions there are, how many baskets there yeah. are, 24 of them change the lead. That is that's that is pretty remarkable. It's one of the tightest games. I think that may be what made it so great. No, no, for sure. I think it was uh, – yeah, there were – someone – oh, it was crazy. Uh, <laughs> I don't, don't want to rat him out. I don't think it's bad, though. Where bus is pulling out, and yeah. the guy stops in front of us and comes out, and I go – Stop the bus? Yeah. Like, like, a, like a civilian? Like a, well, it had to be the, one of the officials. Oh. One day, he got on the bus. He said that was one of the best games I've ever f- co- refed in yeah, so many yeah, years. So it must, yeah, have, it must yeah. have been for no, them. It was probably, too. You know what? I think and I said thank God you didn't call that last call. No, I'm kidding, but <laughs> it would have been miserable. But no, he he felt the same thing. So it's funny. I think I guess in some way the forgotten thing is like they're humans too. Yeah, and they see that there's a game going on, and you know at some point. Oh, I know the other one. It was, it was yeah no, yeah it was, it, I got his but I cheated I, I got his name up here yeah the other official yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. leave it alone yeah 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 uh, all right we've got the Beavers and we've got the Ducks it's the uh, the Beavs on on Thursday night road game they beat Arizona a couple of weeks ago in Corvallis at Gill Coliseum it's just not going to be easy no no they're uh, it's funny someone I don't believe in this stuff or I do to an extent but there's like well it's a trap a trap game. I was like, they're good. They've scored. Uh, I think we look at they're averaging eighty four and a half their last four home games, and they're good. They're Pope, just Pope's great. Pope's great. Villadell's. Yeah, we're very fortunate. We got Villadell in foul trouble. Yeah, because he's really tough, covered really physical. Uh, they're and like I said, there's two teams in the league to me that are uh, UCLA's playing a different brand of basketball, so they're they're going to be. You just haven't seen it. They're really physical, really. And then Oregon State, their their identity is a little bit in scoring, but they are big. And physical too, as well. So um, their matchup—it's a tricky matchup for us. Um, and they're good at home, and they're young, and get probably improving too. That that helps. Like I thought after the mountain trips, I thought, man, well maybe they'll dip and they'll be limping when we get to see them. Not at all. They're, they'll be they'll be fired up. After our pregame conversation, usually we're right next to the opposing team warming up. Yeah. And when the Beavers were here early in league play, we had finished our talk, and we, we get out and I'm staring at them, going. Oh, they're enormous. No, really. Mariel seven three and Econo's two eighty. <laughs> or not Econo. Uh, Abekwe. Abekwe's 280. 280. 290. What, what, what kind of scale do you have? Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred plus. He's bigger than Balo. 
Did he really? Yes. I saw that game when Arizona really? was playing Oregon State, and I was like, oh, my gosh, a Beckway dwarf. I didn't Apollo. know that. Yeah. I didn't realize. Now, Abalo has no neck, kind of. But he's like, huge, though. They're yeah. huge. Yeah. 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 And Beckway's wider. He's big boy. He's wider. Is he really? Yes. Wow. He's That's no, probably part of how they beat him. No, For no, he's, no, no. Beckway, if he, yeah, he's, he's a problem. He's big. Yeah, he's, and they, yeah. So if they, you know, they got a bunch, they got a couple. Gavin Mars didn't play at all. No, he comes in our game. I was like, I thought he's redshirting. Yep, he catches a lob, you know, above the rim. I'm they like, caught me on my board. It's very yeah, yeah, you, yeah, it, I just like, whoa. Yep, I did that. Wait a minute, who's this? Guy? I didn't write this one. Yeah. The sharpie doesn't yeah. have Gavin uh, Mars on this the one. bingo card. <laughs> I was not expecting that. But off off topic for a second, please. There was a little documentary on Gus Johnson. I oh. caught. I don't know if you saw. This I didn't thing. see it. No, no, it's great. And they're talking about. They showed him prepping for a football ball game oh, okay miserable well, how so everyone's number and name oh i couldn't do with that i could never think about doing that again you know you just gotta call yeah little michigan ohio state oh, or yeah. something yeah that's insane yeah oh yeah there's that's... like a hundred or whatever you know there's, yeah that's oh, it's crazy. A, it's Football's a, crazy it's a football t- oh you do that too y- yes yeah <laughs> Yes, I'm like, I'm like, Gus is really good. <laughs> I can't imagine you do that. <laughs> that's good. Oh, it's, Gus is great. Yeah, but no. that is that is crazy. Yeah, yeah. The, the so you, how much prep work do you? Let's, it's let's the week. Split this. Honestly, yeah. it's the week. Yeah, it's the week. You need you, if you really like do being it. an actor, like having to yeah. memorize your lines, like to be the numbers and names and. You know where it's really easier? Way easier. The NFL. Oh yeah, fifty-two guys, and you max. know them, and you know them, and like one of the wide receivers is, yeah. yeah oh, that's yeah, yeah. Jamar Jeff, Justin yeah, Jefferson. Yeah, I saw him play. <laughs> yeah, he's the offensive player. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. NFL would be much easier. Way easier. No, the college is one hundred and five guys in the roster. Correct. So seventy-seven travel double numbers. Double numbers. That's yeah. That, that, that's not fair. So it, when uh, there's a, if you go back and look at the ball game where Gabe Marks caught the game winner yeah. in the Rose Bowl to beat the Bruins. Yeah. Go look at UCLA's jerseys in that game. Yeah. I think can't. they're illegal. You can't. I think they, you, it's black really... with silver. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But not like the Raiders. Like, no, it was like you couldn't see, you could see, see, no, see, you, you could see it. it and the Rose Bowl, you're really, really far anyway. Right, no so. one really cares about play by play. Oh, okay. So. All right. Well, you got me. You asked. You yeah, asked. No, so we're rolling. Yeah, I yeah. got it. I got yeah. it. No, it's really, it's, it's. Hard, yeah, no. it's hard to fun way. No, uh, it's impossible. I mean, I was, I was impressed. I was like, yeah, that's really impossible. It's great. Name pronunciations on that. It's great. Good luck. Hawaii was great. Hawaii's Hawaii was fun. When when Kalani Pacific, Sitaki, yeah, the, yeah, it's hard. When, Islanders. Uh, we, you know, we've had a, a fair our fair yeah. share. It's great. Uh, Misiona Ayalupatea Bay was a really good one. <laughs> was really good for the opposing guys. I was like, listen, here's the deal. We'll go through it. That's impressive. His, his dad was on the All Blacks. You know, the no, rugby the rugby impressive. team. Yeah, no, no. I, mountain of a man. I'm sure. Oh, he was great. He no, was. No. He was. It was really really fun. To Kiwi. Be. Yeah. Uh, we got what are we doing we'll, we, we'll do a break we'll do trivia sorry right. we'll do questions then we'll do trivia all right and then we'll roll through we'll talk a little more about the beavers and the ducks we haven't talked about the ducks, ducks. yet yep, yep. The ducks three matters, three matters, yes baby. yes Let's sir go. big one now, u.s bank we know when you invest in a community the community invests in you we're committed to providing high quality innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of our customers u.s bank equal housing lender member fdic we'll take a break come back live here at zeppos talking ball with coach smith that to-do list you have needs one more thing chill It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog, because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Hey, Kook fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppos. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppos is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppos.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppos. This is the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Do you ever pay attention to overhead power lines? If you're like most people, you don't, but you should, especially when you're working up on a roof or carrying a ladder outdoors. Kids who climb trees and fly kites and adults with drones need to watch out for power lines too. And on the off chance that you find a downed power line, stay at least 10 feet away and quickly call 911 and a Vista. Always pay attention to power lines. It's your best line of defense. Avista, we just want you to be safe. 
The Clearwater River Casino and Lodge proudly supports Washington State University Athletics. The premier venue for events and entertainment. Located four miles east of Lewiston, Idaho. Come hit the jackpot with us. With over 600 gaming machines, saltwater pool, restaurant, and giant screens in the stadium sports bar. Owned and operated by the Nez Perce Tribe, our hospitality is legendary. Stay, play, and get away with the Clearwater River Casino. Go Cooks! This is the U.S. Bank Cougar Coaches Show on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Floats up the yeah, three. Got it. Drives in, dunks it down, an exclamation point. With Coach Smith, here's Matt Chazanow. Cougs take on the Beavers and the Ducks this week. It's the Oregon Road Week the rematch for these two. We're live here at Zeppos talking ball with Coach Smith. Earn your bragging rights at Northern Quest with more slot machines, table games, restaurants, lounges, and luxury hotel rooms than anyone else in the region. Northern Quest, yes, the best. More at northernquest.com. We haven't talked. We'll talk a little bit about it in trivia. Super Bowl week, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Bowl Sunday coming up. Usually we talk a little bit more yeah. N- NFL. It's this one the seems easy. Niners and the Chiefs. I'm he, a Niners fan. Yeah, I know. Well, I knew you liked Jimmy G, and he's gone now. I love Purdy. I'm, it's it's a family thing. It's I got sucked into it. My wife's a huge Niner fan, but makes sense. Does it? She, she's, she's from. I just she, think she's from Washington. But I think about St. Mary's. I think about yeah, the Bay. From down think down. about the yeah, Bay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's she, that's an infectious. That's a thing. It's a thing. This yeah. The Niners. I do endure some bad years there. The Niners. Pre, oh yeah. My heart does not break for Niners fans. I know, but pre Harbaugh, no, it was Alex Smith was getting polarized for five years. He didn't he have for real. Honestly, I think five coordinators. Nine. I, or, or maybe. I think he had like nine in nine years. He's the toughest human being. If you've seen the and his the, leg, yeah, the leg thing. Yeah. That's it. It's hard. The to hardest look. thing was his first five years in San Francisco. <laughs> I mean, he was. Almost, I was like, no way, this guy's any good. After almost that. lost he, his leg. No, he he became a good quarterback. It was he, did, he did. He's great at Utah. Yeah, uh, but I, I I wouldn't uh, pick the Niners over Mahomes. Hard to pick. Yeah. Shh. I can't Hard to pick favorite. against Mahomes. Yeah. Niners a favorite? Is that right? I didn't yeah. even know. Wow. Yeah. How about that? I was like, how do you fate? And then you're going to give Mahomes a chip on his shoulder? I'm an underdog? Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. Yeah. My only memory, my re- every time I think of Purdy, you know, he was the QB for the Cyclones in the Alamo Bowl. Yeah. Then the Cougs beat him. That's right. And my one of my favorite parts about that game, and I'm not the biggest yeah. social media guy. Yeah, and yeah. I, so, but, oh, sure you are. No, no, no. Okay, go ahead. Uh, do you know who tweeted about the Cougs in that game? You, no, you won't. No. De- Deion Sanders. I oh, love it. Because the Cougs had a pick six called back on a celebration. Uh, Mark, Marcus Strong picked the ball off. He didn't really do much either. Uh, he just held the ball out to like, uh, like he did this and then ran it in. It was really, really minimal. That's terrible. But it triggered a rule. There, uh, like there's a basketball auto tech if you do that. The, the gun's down. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a rule for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah. They've decided that's not acceptable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which actually got called on us a few years back before you got here. But Marcus Strong pulled out. So he, so yeah, it was great. Damn, it was I great. Wasn't happy about he that. He was not I'm happy. Sure. He no, would have never had a touchdown no. in his life. They're all back. Yeah, they're all back. He's, <laughs> He's dancing still, in. They're pulling them no, all back. He's my second favorite football player of all time. He's great. He's a great one. Uh, first being Earl Campbell. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just, con- yeah, yeah, just confirming. Many a time. Just many confirming. Times, yeah. um, okay. All right. Let's do Four. questions here. All right. Here we go. But we start always with right ins. I yeah, love the napkin. I love, yeah, napkin. Uh, how did Isaiah's dad handle Saturday night? Let's add a little context to that. Yeah. Isaiah's dad, Donald Watts. Led the pack in three-point shooting by percentage in 98. Went to the Sweet 16 as a Husky. Yep. Now very proudly wears crimson yep. because he's proud papa of his son Isaiah, who's doing great things. How did Donald handle things? I didn't see him after Saturday night, but it, I, he's been awesome. His dad is uh, so supportive of Isaiah and of us. Oh, sorry. And uh, he's been uh, he's been great. And it's, uh, you know, I never know. And it's like, I'm sure his Teammates and friends give him a hard time. He wears the Coug gear. I didn't expect that. He loves it. I know. He he's does. all he's, in. He's yeah. all in. Said it's not easy for him. Uh, and I caught Isaiah one time on the national championship game. I said, who's rooting for – who are you rooting for in this dance? He said – I said, no, we're not allowed to root for them. In the, for football guy. Yeah, the football yeah, I, yeah, said, yeah, I yeah. said, you're not allowed to root for them. Good. I don't want to re- re- Good. reference Good. Isaiah. But, Good. But he's he kind of grew it. up that way. But sure. no, Donald's been awesome. And he said – courtside at, if we, at our place he was courtside at their place and he was rooting for hard for us so he's he's been great that's really fun uh, slick was there i believe 
I heard that. I didn't see him. I didn't him. see him, but I heard, I heard sli- that I heard too. He... I got to ask Isaiah. I didn't. I didn't. Uh... Pretty cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Really, no, because really cool. his his grandfather is just an absolute legend in Seattle, and everyone finally remembers him. And I told, like I told Isaiah, I said, "Well, might sign him because I was a young kid wearing a headband tilted <laughs> to the side." <laughs> That's cool. true story. That's like, really cool. I remember collecting his basketball card, so it's kind of it makes me ages me. That's a bit, funny. Yeah, uh, admittedly, he's he's before my time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, he was. I knew him. I knew he was yeah, what he you was, did. I knew of him. You yeah, know, okay. but I was pretty impressed that you knew of him because I was young. I was a nerd. I was a basketball nerd. <laughs> was? I yeah, yeah, exactly. Was? Correct. Correct. Hold on. Correct. Uh, which teams in the bottom half of the pack could you could make a run in the Pac-12 tourney? Uh, maybe we should name the. You know what? I'm not really. I'm just saying. I'm not even up to speed on what the bottom of that. I was going to say, but what, I, what the team standing? that obviously I don't even like to say it out loud because Cal. No, this the, this you guy. Sure? Yeah, this guy. He, he but, tried to butter me up with a, a text. He's like, "Oh, I'm so impressed." And, and Mick and I go way back. And he's like, "So impressed with what your team's doing." I just, I'm just going to tell you, I hit him with an emoji. Yeah. And it wasn't a nice one. <laughs> and I said, uh, I said, hey. Jacko, you guys won six out of seven and should have beat Arizona and Arizona. I don't want to hear about you like, you know, when you're and you're coming up here. I would like to have played them somewhere and they're getting beat fifty by Utah. You know what's crazy? As bad a start as they had. They're, they're in the top half. They're in the top half. Yeah, no, no. I said they won six out of seven. They played great since they got beat fifty at Utah. So they already are making their little run. Um I would say Cal because the the two Cal and Washington. Yeah. Uh, Washington's really old score. and has a couple guys that can really take over a game, as you saw. And, you know, who knows? what? If I don't think Collier's coming back. I don't know what SC thinks a weird deal. Yeah. Because their talent's still good without Collier. For still sure. pretty good. You know, Kobe Johnson and Boogie. and So, I would, if I had to rank it, I would say I think the Huskies are the – the best option there, and then Cal and SC could mm-hmm. could they're could, they're more than capable. The league, like I said, top to bottom, and I don't really like that. Sounds dismissive. Oregon State, who's beat Arizona and um, held us to five for twenty in the first half at our place, and it was pretty, you know it's they're good. One of the things that has hurt the pack all these years, and and it's a shame, really. Yeah. And this is football as well. The bottom is not soft. No, nope. and it's helpful to have easy wins in league play because it's power league in other leagues if you got a softer bottom you just kind of rack up no question and it and it's uh it's tricky that's what i said like there's this narrative we we're talking on the break about mountain west getting all these teams and the ncaa tournament i'm like well history says they stink because the only team that's ever advanced in the last six years San Diego is State. one team and the rest of them haven't even won a round and they do have some teams that are they got four teams that are 200 or below is that right? Right now, right, 190 to two, 200. So that's eight games on your schedule. It's a lot. And so the, the top, as long as they don't jump up and beat anybody, I don't think it affects it. And then the the good teams play each other, and the top of that's going to be pretty good. So, and same thing with the WCC. I was part of that. Like, they're really top-heavy. And they just run, run through the Southern California teams, and then they play each other, and – you know, that's the deal. So we're top to bottom. Good. Yeah, there's the, the caveat is this. Our league's still ranked above above the Mountain West. So we have a better league, yet they get more teams. That doesn't make any sense. Eh, no, it doesn't. So that's that's disappointing. But we need someone to push back and say, like, you know. And first of all, our, the talent in our league, we're going against NBA players every night. Right. Almost every team has an NBA player. Right. Tyson. So, so, yeah. Tyson. Yeah, you know, the you AMAC, go, whatever, he's not NBA, but, like, yeah. those are they're both first team all. Yeah, Cal's got two guys that are player of the year in the Mountain West, and, or maybe not, Lid Day's pretty good, but two all-league first team, no mm-hmm. question asked. Mm-hmm. Pope, Villado would mm-hmm. be right there. SC, I don't, I mean, it, how do you think Keon over. Brooks, how do you think Keon Brooks <laughs> right. would be that's in the a, That's a pro. Well, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, Wheeler. Yeah. So it's like those teams are the bottom half, and they have incredible uh, you know, guys that are going to play professionally for a long time. So almost uh, Frankie Collins for Arizona State. Uh, you know, all of them. Everyone has really good players, so I just think there's a little Carlson. Oh, he's a stud. But David Smith is getting triple he's doubles. I mean, too. so it's like, yeah, they're just it's just good. I could go all line. It's really I've, I've coached in WCC and I coached in this league. I know the talent is it, it's kind of crazy. Frustrating relative to the national. Uh, yeah, 
Well, it's, we don't really have. The, I got to step Me up. Need a oh, megaphone. It's you need, two. need a megaphone. That's right. pack two. That's, That's right. like I'm one of the two. <laughs> I need to start. Right. I need to start stepping up. Well, what we need to. We need no, to I mean, what's to say? We don't. I don't know what our commissioner. is. I mean, our commissioner is a little. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. It's a little. We need some advocacy for sure. Washington State University would like to thank Crimson and Gray for their continued support of Coug Athletics. Head to bookstore.com to get the latest in Coug apparel. That's BKSTR.com. We'll do social media questions next. We're live here at Zeppos. We're talking ball with Coach Smith as we get set for the road Oregon trip at Corvallis and then in Eugene. All right. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light. And chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog, because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. The tradition, the rivalries. Sirius XM is your destination for all things college sports, and we've got you covered. On Pac-12 Radio, there is complete coverage of every school in the conference, including live games, plus 24-7 talk and analysis. So cheer along on the Sirius XM app and listen to your favorite team anywhere. And now you can get three months of Sirius XM free. Subscribe now. See offer details at SiriusXM.com slash Pac-12 Sports. Hey everybody, this is Clay Thompson, and you're listening to Washington State Basketball. With the WSU debit card from Gisa, it's hard to tell who's supporting who. When the Coug fans use their WSU card, they show off their Coug pride and donations are made back to Cougar Athletics. But the card supports the Coug fan with big savings by helping them earn 7% APY with Smart Plus checking. So does the card support the Coug fan or does the Coug fan support the card? It doesn't matter. All that matters is that the WSU card supports Cougar Athletics and your wallet at the same time. Get your WSU card at Gisa.com. Checking account transaction requirements, certain conditions apply. Checking account percent yields range from 0.01 to 7%, depending on balance. Minimum balance, certain APY ranges from 0 to $5,000. Hampton and Pullman is just a short drive from the WSU campus. Centrally located to restaurants and shopping, they've got you covered for all your lodging needs. With their spacious rooms, famous Hampton waffles, a cozy outdoor patio, a gift shop for all your Cougar gear needs, and the friendliest staff in town to make you feel right at home. Visit HamptonByHilton.com to reserve a room for your next trip to the Palouse. Coug owned and Coug managed. It matters where you stay. Hampton and Pullman, Hilton for the stay. Have a question for Coach Smith? Send a tweet with your thoughts to Matt Chazanow using the handle at M underscore Chaz. That's M underscore C-H-A-Z. Now, back to Zeppos. Back here live, we're talking ball with Coach Smith as we get set for the road Oregon trip. Go to Corvallis and Eugene this week. Coors Light, Mountain Cold Refreshment, made to chill. Proud partner of Coog Athletics. Celebrate responsibly. All right, here we go. We got uh, It's a Great Day to Be a Coog. Uh, somebody's coming to see you in Beasley uh, pretty soon. So he's excited to see you. Who's see. this? Let's see here. Oh, Potts. Yes. There he is. Hey, I had to look Potts. at the picture. I didn't What's know that. Yeah, yeah. No Brandon. Potts. Okay, there, there we go. go. Beautiful. Well, he's saying, hey, he says hi. Can't okay. wait to see you. There all you right. Go. That's great. Forward to him. Uh, okay, look, here we go. Jennifer Delzer, of all the pack games so far, this was the second high. Did a little research on this question. Oh. So the second highest point total put up by an opponent. Second only to the Oregon game. Yeah. What about Washington made them so hard for the Cougs to defend? And then were there similarities or differences between the, the, those two games that were in the 90s? Yeah, no, there's, there's several teams that are kind of high-octane offenses, and those two are – they both play smaller and quicker, and they're hard to keep in front of you, so they can really – they can't really get up and down, and then they got some good individual talents. And SC is actually that way a little bit. Let me look. Arizona State plays small, not as skilled. Stanford is a different deal, but they just they have five guys that control threes. Really hard to slow down. Colorado is really hard to slow down. Mm -hmm. Arizona is different, but they're always hard to slow down. So, right. so I think it's uh, those two that you mentioned, their just ability. Oregon shot really well against us, and it was just – and it was it was tough. We didn't take them off the three like we normally do. We took Washington actually off the three, but Wood went five for six. They went six for fifteen, but only fifteen attempts. But that also Brooks and Wheeler didn't. They're kind of going one on. They're hard to contain. Yeah. one on one. So it's it's a it's tough. They're just hard to guard. Brooks is unique. 
They're not a lot of not yeah, a lot. You know of what? He's like a mini Jason Tatum. Is kind of how he plays. Yeah, like he can score at all levels. And he or... couldn't shoot it like that last year. No, he, I mean, he, actually, jump. he actually didn't shoot threes against no. us. But you know that by percentage, the threat no, is there. No, no, no. He's shooting 38 on the years. He's, he's just really he's he's improved his game. He's he's good. He's he's really athletic. I think he's improved that too. Like he just you know spikes it like a volleyball when he yeah. dunks. He's and, worked uh, really hard. Yeah. No, he's he's and he's 25 years old. That helps. <laughs> but, <laughs> that definitely does help. Yeah. Is he really? Uh, he's up there. He's, he's up. You know, his fifth year. He yeah. could be 23, 24. Yeah. At least 23, I'd imagine. Uh, Tom, go Cougs. Great win. There seems to be zero panic in this team when they're down. I assume this poise comes from great coaching. Smiley face. I, I agree. Can you speak to the poise of the team this year? Uh, I think that's fair. I think um, they do have – I think it starts with a little bit of – as I said, as Miles has matured, uh, I wouldn't have said – you wouldn't have said that after, like, a Colorado finish, like, up there on the road. Like, we're just – little disjointed end of Mississippi State there's a couple games like that that we've grown into that and I think miles a big big part of that but also Isaac's just a calm customer and really settles us down and get the ball in his hands late in the game situation like I thought he was really good you know somebody didn't come out with an assist but they were doubling most every time and he's really in self getting the ball moving around um, so it starts with those guys and then like Oscar really unselfish guy Andre's uh, really grown into a very mature what a his growth as a human being and as a player just yeah. such a tough and the reason the locker room I think or really I, I should give the praise the wrong guy it's Andre yeah <laughs> he's a captain and he he really has done that and it's not you know I think he's helped those guys really especially Miles like just kind of taking him on his wing as far as letting him, Miles do what he can do but also knowing there's that calming influence it's great it's what you want out of a guy like Andre. Oh yeah, it's, it's awesome. neat to see for it's you know the four-year guys. Yeah. they're they're very valuable when they stay in your program for four years. Thomas wants to know: Is there something y'all look for in the scout when it comes to primarily playing man or zone, or is it just game flow? Um, it's a little bit, Matt. Like the smaller teams are probably harder to play man because they might have, we, we're not our perimeter D is not what we'd like it to be. Our back line's really good. Um, so if they have uh, – so it's like if they have guards that are really hard to keep in front, um, it might sometimes be their best interest to be able to – because our zone is more like a switching man in some regards. So keep keep our bigs home. Keep Ruben around the rim. Keep Oscar around the rim. And we've defended well that way. So that might be the deal. And against a bigger team, we might be better playing a man. But – and it flows a big part of it too. Whatever, whatever's working. Over, it's going. Right. Yeah, we have a little rule that if we get scored on three times in a row, switch it. Just change it. Yeah. yeah just, regardless, let's yeah. go. Try something else. Cody says, "Love this team. I'd like to offer you a lifetime contract." There you Thank go. Thank you. Go. Did you make Miles throw those shoes from last game away? <laughs> I, he was I, slipping a lot. Yeah, I, I, I got it. I got multiple reports. He was slipping a lot. He three of them. He did it right, one of them right in front of me. And I, yeah. And I told Eggs, I said it. He's slipping up. I don't think yeah, that's yeah. the court. I think it's yeah. Like, yeah. You know what? Wheeler was falling down a lot too. So I just Maybe. might be. Those knows? two guys are just so quick. So qu too quick. For, too so quick, quick for them. They are quick. They're quick, yeah. and it's when they butt bend it like it, like Miles took the ball from a couple times. And he fell down, and they kind of pull the chair on each other's. And I, I thought it might be the shoes, but I think they speed each other up too. Yeah. Like yeah. he's Miles going trying to get over the ball screen, and then Wheeler's running him down. He's trying to stop, and I was like, I. I, I didn't notice as much, but it could have been. We'll get rid of the shoes. Great matchup. Yeah, right. The get, shoe. yeah. get rid of the shoes. Isaiah, Just in case. Isaiah Watts fan uh, says, at John Rothstein is a strong believer in always fouling up three in crunch time. Do your analytics say differently, or is there another reason we don't? Thanks, Chaz and CKS. Who says we don't? This, that was the question. I, no, he said. He said, or is there another reason we don't? Do or your, is there another reason we don't? That's what we said. Yeah, I guess he said we don't. We don't. We do it. It's, but it's a small window. It's like, believe me, no one – and it really is no difference. Yeah. The only is reason right? – Marginal. Yeah. The only reason you you do it is so you don't get criticized after the game. Why didn't you foul when you gave up the three? <laughs> it's a coaching CYA. It's, it's not it's – It not. really is, honest to God, because yeah. the numbers – it's really very marginal. And I'm one of the coaches that can say, lost doing it, so I'm not – Is that right? Yes. Let me give you this scenario. Please. Columbia versus Manhattan. 2014. I think Franco was on this team, too. Where was it? Where was this game? Uh, at, at Columbia. Okay. Up up three. Like you said, we foul. How much time left? V roughly three seconds, something like no, that? No, like seven. Like right oh, where we're okay. supposed to do. Okay. So he goes make. Yeah. 
miss. Okay. Long, right. long one rebound. left, right? Oh, he's shooting a, No, we found him on shooting a three, actually. I'm sorry. Got it. Okay. That was – and that's not that bad either by the definition. You know, like by whatever. The because, you, because you might – it's hard to make three in a row. Right. So it, it turned out to be the same thing. So on the last one. So he misses again. Rebound. Put back. Foul. Oh, and no. one. Oh, no. Lost. Oh, no. It's a disaster. Yeah, so I should have said it. It, was a, it wasn't a really disaster. the same. It was the same thing, though. It was like – Okay, here's a situation. We got to yeah. get this rebound. We got our thing in there, and they don't call. Here's the other thing: they do not call fouls. They rarely, they don't want to call foul, and they get, the guys really just just like Shove a scrum. Them. Yeah. And here's why I hate it too. And we'll do it. It depends on, but it's like a small window because if you do it too early, like 12 seconds, a lot of time left. Oh, too much time. Yeah, yeah. Play. We do it. We did it practice today. In fact. Yeah. Um, you leave uh, it up to a scrum, and then here's my biggest fear. All right, it's a. Uh, up three, you makes a first miss, pop up, 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 and line out of bounds. Sure, two seconds, you're you're up two. Now you can lose, because they can get three. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you're close to fouling them, so it's like right. right and, yeah. and, 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 and let me tell you, the human emotion on that one that happens when you're like, oh crap, oh no, we yeah. got a guard. Now we thought we we're just gonna salt, grab a rebound, win this thing. Uh-uh. Now we got to defend it and line out uh-huh. of bounds. So everyone yeah. has something. Everyone's tight. Yeah. Well, everyone's got something. There's a lot. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. Interesting. It, it, so it's kind of overrated. It, I, yes, but it feels just as bad when you close out. And the guy he makes it. Makes yeah, it, yeah, and yeah, you're going over punch. time. So yeah. it, it's it's tough. And but it's like you go. I think teams go to it too early sometimes over like 12 seconds. Like because we do that in practice all the time. Do you feel differently, Devil's Advocate? I don't yeah. advocate either way. Do you feel differently depending on who you foul? Like if you get the right guy to foul, like you know. Uh, 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 I don't mean to pick on him, but Balo's like 44% from the free throw line. I almost want him, in that situation, I want him to make them both almost. So that he can't, so, yeah, so yeah, you no, get the no ball back. Yeah, yeah, like almost like. Yeah, that makes more sense. Because if I you get a miss, you don't know where it's going. But you still got it. Here's the deal. Here's what I hate is a coach, the anxiety. You still got to get the ball in bounds. Right. You can travel. Easier said you, than you know, done. There, exactly. There's more, there's just more human error involved, referees involved. <laughs> Hard contest. You still can foul the guy shooting a three. It could be a four-point sure. play. So it's there's just a lot of stuff going on. So we do practice fouling it. So when they ask, just to when know. we do it, yeah. and if if we lose, I'll just, you can look at the. I've done it before. <laughs> I've lost on that. That's what I said. I lost in that situation. What we weren't actually fouling. We actually fouled. We shouldn't have. But it was like the same deals. It turned out to be the same scenario. I was like, I looked down. I was like, we just lost. We just lost because of that. Yeah. yeah. Or we just lost. We lost. We we're up yeah. three with seven seconds and we lost. Never got the ball back. You're brutal. Actually, put a little. They actually put a little time on. So it was like a half court heave or yeah, something. It was, yeah. it was like it was depressing. Did Franco foul the guy? No, he did not. Okay. Right. Motto low. Well, if you want to know, he's oh. motto okay. still to this day. He's still upset. George Beeman made the shot. Still, you know exactly. Yeah, you know Trust exactly me. who. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I know exactly. I remember. It. Yes. Anyway, it's brought to you by McDonald's. That's not, but the show is. That yes. instant is not brought to no, you by no. McDonald's. This show very proudly brought to you by McDonald's. Order ahead in the McDonald's app to save time and score twenty chicken McNuggets and two medium fries for only ten ninety nine every Coug game day. We'll take a break. We'll do trivia next. Live here at Zeppo's talking ball with Coach Smith. Fubo is the official streaming platform of Washington State Athletics. With Fubo, you can watch every Pac-12 game, plus more college and pro sports, shows, movies, and news on over 350 live TV channels. Stream it live on your TV, phone, and other devices. No cable required. The best part? You can try Fubo free. There's no contract or commitment. To start watching, just go to FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. A lot goes into Washington State athletes reaching peak performance for game day, including the right nutrition. At Wilbur Ellis, we know that healthy crop performance requires the same attention to nutrition as an athlete. That's why we use benchmark data points to maximize crop productivity through nutrient efficiency. For 100 years, family-owned Wilbur Ellis has been partnering with Washington's farmers to grow healthier crops. That is the winning ag experience for Cougar Nation, locally provided by Wilbur Ellis. You're listening to Cougar Basketball, Cougar Basketball on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. 
This Cougar football tailgating moment is brought to you by Canoe Ridge Vineyards, proud partner of Washington State University Athletics. Smart Cougar tailgaters know to pair award-winning Canoe Ridge wines with a crowd-pleasing pregame meal. Your mealtime roster will score big points with Canoe Ridge wines backing it up. Canoe Ridge Vineyards, representing the best of award-winning Washington wines with more than 85 critical scores of 90-plus points. Visit them at their Walla Walla tasting room or at canoeridgevineyard.com. Go Cougs! Seatgate's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. Seatgate got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. Seatgate handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. This is the U.S. Bank Cougar Coaches Show on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. It's crazy. Back at it live here. We're talking ball at Zeppos. We've got ourselves the Oregon Schools Road Week here. We're live talking ball. Time for uh, world famous, obviously, trivia yeah. with Coach Smith. Fire the music, Luke, please. High drama. I'm a little t- <sighs> all the intensity. We're, yeah. we're we're pretty heavy Coug basketball today, but okay. it's, it's fun okay. and, and it's for good reason. All right, all right. This one, this was, this is great. Okay. Like this question's not good. This question's great. All right. You're not gonna get it. All right, but it's That's great. good. I'm glad I came. You're not it. gonna get it, all right. but it's fantastic. When is the last James Donaldson? That is incorrect, but right. it's a great guess. I Why not? Early. Why not? Give him an X just for jumping the yeah, right. jump the gun. Jump the gun. Uh, music, please though. Please continue. Thank you. Okay. When is the last time? Washington State won four of five in Seattle at UW. The last time, 1981. Incorrect. <laughs> Try again, just just for oh, fun, because I four or five the uh, Tony era. Incorrect. <laughs> I have no idea. 1950, what? In- incorrect. Oh, stop, what? Never. 1919. Oh, my god! It's been 100 years. Wow. It's that's, been over one. Five. That's a That's a run. Coach, it's been over 100 years. Put, put that on my resume. How about that? 100, 100 Congratulations. Years. I appreciate it. The, a Cougar squad, they, wow. had a, they had a couple stretches from 1913 to 19. Wow. They did it like a couple yeah, times. Sure. That's crazy. And, and I'll, uh, this, I'll well, box the it. the score is like 11-7? Probably. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Crawford, great SID, dropped a nugget. I meant to throw yeah, this in here. That's great. The first ever meeting between the Cougs and um, Huskies was in like 09, right? Wow. And controversially, so this goes like all the way back, controversially the Huskies demanded they would only play the game if the Cougars would not play by the active rules of oh the sport. Oh, my gosh. They said – you're not allowed to dribble. We'll play you, but you can't dribble. They say, other than that, we're not going to play you. They haven't changed in over 100 changed. years. Nothing's, Nothing's changed, changed in over great? 100 years. Isn't that great? Yeah. They're, they're trying to they're play by their own rules. So they the, try. The whole they, thing is great. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, 100 years. So, congratulations. No, appreciate it's been, it. It's been, yeah, no, it's been a long yeah. time. Uh, okay, question number two. Washington State leads the pack in blocks. Yep. What other year? Did they lead the league in blocks? It's happened one other time. So well, I want to think it was when James Donaldson was playing. It might have to, okay, not nah. one other year. It's, it's it kind of makes sense, but it's a little more contemporary. I'll give you that hint. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, it kind of does. Like when you think about it, probably a little dumb luck with some of the other teams too. But there was we had some shot blockers. There's one around. guy. Yeah. Cast him? Yeah. Yeah, 2010. Give him 2010. a yeah, right, Casto. Yep. Yeah, yep. I just didn't think Casto was enough the way they played. Well, I, what I'm ignorant of in 2010 is like, what did the other teams have? And you know, I didn't go through the whole. I league, just, but. I was just seeing the pack line. They just don't block that many shots. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's right. But he, he was a good shot blocker. And it was, that was Bone, I think. Oh, it was it? Okay. Yeah. Right so Casto, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, it was, but still. Yeah. They must have had another one in there. Modem, led... Modem was blocking spot, but I, yeah. I can't imagine he blocked any or uh, many. I didn't check. That. I didn't go that Interesting. deep. Interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, I was kind of yeah, Oh, that's right. So it wasn't pack line. Yeah. So I don't that know. That might have been the, that been the trick. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a little more open. Yep. All right, question number three. Here we go. They did more possessions for sure. No doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. 
Robbie Cowgill spoke with the team before the win in Seattle. Cowgill was a front court player, 04 to 08, went yep. to two tourneys, Sweet 16. True or false? Robbie Cowgill started every game he played from his sophomore through senior years. True. Correct. That is correct. Robbie that was Cal a toughie. Hey, listen, that's I like okay. the true or it's false. A, that's okay. Yeah, I got a 50-50 chance. I love Rob. I love, we all oh, love Robbie. What a stud. He's a great guy. And he's, 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 a, still, he's a little mad at me because I referenced him in the, my press conference so or awesome. something. He's like, you said of the odd-shaped bodies. I said, well, I wasn't lying. Yeah, I mean, like, you were a coat yeah, hanger. Come on. Human coat hanger. Yeah, yeah. He's impressive. He's, he's impressive. He's great. All yeah. right. Qu uh, we're out of basketball okay. land. All right. We're into UFOs. No. No UFOs this week. Uh, okay, Luke, please, sir, thank you very much. Very important. Can you name any of the four teams that have never played in a Super Bowl? And I, I just, any of them. Well, there's one that's defunct. Um, that would well, not be part of this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The Houston Texans. Correct. That's one of the, can you, can you keep rolling, you think? Right. How many can you get? The, the Lions have been that's in the correct. Super Bowl. That's correct. Two for two. All right. I can uh, what one of those their expansion teams to me they're like yep. 25 years old right uh, that'd be the Jaguars correct three for three uh, now we're getting tricky it is tricky and also I think it's kind of a trick question so wow. I don't think it's totally fair wait, well I wait. saw it's true but wait it's, wait 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 the Jets no it's the no what Super Bowl were they? that was a Namath. Super Bowl Namath was a Super Namath Bowl was, yeah it was yeah I was thinking when he beat the Colts that was a Super Bowl I think it was the third one but yeah I, right. I might be wrong. Yeah, I think you're right. They predicted. That. No, I think that's what started the Super Bowl. I might Bowl. be wrong. I don't know. But it's not what at least what it is. Who's the fourth The team? Browns. But it's the new Browns, I think. You know what I mean? But it's Cleveland. I don't. It was the answer. I don't remember the old Browns being in the Super Bowl. Maybe not. But I knew the new Browns weren't. So. I don't. Wait, hold on. Dude, Dude, has Namath was a Super Bowl? I thought he was. I, I don't someone, know. Someone, someone's got to know this. There's no other. Uh, there's no other Jets QB no, no, I can no, think of. No. Testa Verde when no, he was 41 was years old. Super, I was thinking it was like pre-Super Bowl. It was a Super Bowl. Was it it was three. You got was it right. Three? Thank you. Yeah, that's great. It's before the merger. That's I knew it was before the oh, merger. That's why I was wondering. Interesting. They didn't, I didn't think they referenced it as a Super Bowl. That's I'd, cool. I was actually legitimately knew it was So a Super Bowl, a pre-merger Super Bowl. It's kind of a fun, Yeah, that's, that's interesting. So that, that's cool. It is cool. You think they called it Super Bowl then? I, that's what I was, I'm confused by that. But I, I think they might not have. But it's Super Bowl three. Super Bowl So I guess it has to be. Yeah, interesting. All right. All right, question five. Uh, so totally random geography. American domestic right, geography. I feel good about this. I feel good about geography. Parts of Canada yep. are south of what U.S. city? Parts of Canada are south of Boston. Uh, no. Close, though. The Portland, Maine? Nope. What do you mean? I don't think Nova Scotia is that far south. What about, isn't, isn't, doesn't New England go above Vancouver? It's not the answer to the question. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, that's that's a bummer. Wait, hold on. Yeah, for what it's worth, as, oh, this is a well, hint. Well, then, Michigan. Yes. Yeah, Upper De Peninsula. Detroit. Ma Detroit. Okay. Detroit. There you go. Well, what about Mackinac City? I don't know it's Mackinac further, City. Well, it's further north than Detroit. I couldn't. I can't. I could have said that. Is it? Is, I don't know. You know what? That was a weird <laughs> question. It's I got to look at a map. I think it's. Yeah, I, think, well, I feel like. Oh, I feel like Boston's further north latitude than, I don't than, know. than I, Detroit. We'll have to check it. But we'll check it. We'll yeah. have to check it. But Detroit, I mean, I think what you're Pull up a it's map. not Windsor. Is it Windsor? Is Windsor south of Detroit when you go over the bridge? It's east. Is it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I think it's. Yeah, but Mackinac City's up here. What, do you, what was this question? It's a good question. No, it's not because. I don't think most would think that Canada's south of Detroit. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Now, now it's saying like Detroit's here and Canada goes like Correct. this. I got you. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to like Boston's here and that part of, it, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's that's still south, but not directly south. Do you understand? Yeah, I wouldn't right, say like this, Windsor south of Boston. Yeah, like, but it's, yeah, but it is latitude wise. We, I mean, I, yeah. need to, I haven't checked I that. Want, we need to confirm I'm, it. But okay, well, we'll I just check want to know the latitude. Well, check it. Of Vancouver, Canada, and the latitude of Boston, Massachusetts. I, that'd be an interesting question. I don't know the answer to that. And if it happens to be north of that, I, we're you know, giving credit we'll see. for that. All right, that's fair. We'll Done. see. We'll come back. We'll we'll check it in a break. We're okay. live here talk, talking ball with Coach Smith. We're debating geography with Coach Smith I'm here live at Zeppos. Really, Take a break. Really. 
You know the old saying, another day, another dollar? Well, at Northern Quest, we're going with another day, another $60,000. It's our Lucky Leap Day giveaway. One extra day in February could be your ticket to all kinds of extra cash prizes, up to $30,000. Just play daily in February to enter and be here for the grand prize drawing on February 29th. The Lucky Leap Day giveaway. Details at northernquest.com. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Yeah. Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hey, this is Craig Elo, and you're listening to Washington State Basketball. Go Cougs! That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog, because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do... Do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. There is a local ranch just outside of Boise, Idaho, that has masterfully bred Japanese Wagyu cattle with American Angus cattle. Now this American-style Wagyu beef is available to you and your family. Rosars presents Snake River American-style Wagyu beef. Snake River Farms beef is famously found in many exclusive five-star steak restaurants. Snake River Farms, available at your local neighborhood Rosars. to the show. Time now to look ahead at this week's game with the Coors Light opponent preview. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Because I always feel Back like Back at it live here talking Devils. We're, we're still kind of debating the lati- latitudinal accuracy of the map I, we're looking at. I will at. confess, I was way wrong. Oh, we got 50 seconds. That's it. We got cool. I was way wrong. I'm really disappointed <laughs> in my geography skills. I'm blaming the Texas public school when system. When you do something that hasn't been done in 100 years against the Huskies, yeah. you're forgiven. Yeah, about that's, that? that's, about I guess that? that's more my expertise, that's, but I was really <laughs> really wanted to get that geography right. Thank you, Coach. Thanks right. to everybody here at Zeppos. Right, Thanks to Jared Fred Goober, man behind the camera. Jerry Kylo getting us on the air. Luke hey, Allen back in studios. 7 p.m. tip on Thursday, I believe. 7 p.m. tip, 6.30 airtime. Cougs Sounds right. at the Beavers in Corvallis. Big one, Cougs and the coming Beavers. With us? I'll, I'll be there. I'll be, uh, come back with you. Okay. I'll explain. All right, it's a whole you. thing. It's All right. Thing. Thing. All right. Thank you, guys. Right, Go Cougs. All right, but... 